Today, Roy is attending a live capture and immobilisation course run by Jelen Premier Wildlife Services. The main volumes contained within the body of the dart. We've got a barb to keep the dart in once it's been uh, once it's been fired, and then we've got two ports where the uh, where the something that's being injected will come out the side, as well as the end of the dart itself. So those all need sealing before the dart's loaded. So retrieval of the darts. So what we end up doing is we mark the side of the dart with the barb on it, so that we know whereabouts um, we're wiggling. We also trim the end of the uh, the barb down, so we've not got quite as much to, to, to wiggle out and to reduce the trauma uh, when we're actually redu removing the dart. Roy recently took over the management of a park fallow herd and he would like to be able to move deer to and from the ground. Shorter the distance the better. There's a, a phenomenon called uh, audio stimulation and what happens is the animals hear the darts being launched from the dart rifle before the dart gets to them. Right. If she stays there, she's at 17. We need her to be at 15. All darts are subsonic and, uh, and that is a problem and even at close range, like 10 metres or less, they have time to move and if they do move, it's, the dart could strike a, a, you know, a non-target area or completely miss altogether in a smaller animal. There's a lot to learn. It's not just about the drugs for sedating the deer and bringing them back round. There's the air pressure of the rifle, target distance, the flight of the dart and how to extract it. It's all focused around the animal's welfare. So we're going to take the range of the animals and then you're going to, you're going to determine the, the pressures for that range. So I'll be using a, a Nikon rangefinder yep. um, and then I've got a ballistics chart which will calibrate the range for the new dart X calibre which I'm using. So the pressure you're using with that is going to be? Uh, so between 14 and 16 I'll be between 3 and 3.5 bar. Okay so. and have you got to be careful if you're over pressuring for a certain distance? Yeah if you, um, so say I was to shoot at 3.5 bar at 5 yards there's a chance I could bury the dart into the animal. So right so you've got to be very precise yeah, with the very critical there, factor in a dart and operation. Okay. Animals, Mike day. Allison runs and the uh, courses so and as part of it the students get involved with real jobs. Yesterday they were on an estate moving a red hind to another paddock. Today a seeker stag and some hinds are to be separated from the herd and popped into another area. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to use today is uh, rompen, a mixture of rompen and zolotil, which has proved to be very, very uh, effective. You know, this is where uh, hopefully the darts will fly straight and uh, we'll be fine. We've got a bit of a breeze building at the moment. A bit of a breeze, so it can sort of affect dart flight, but the distances will only be fairly short anyway. They're not the wildest deer that we've ever darted, so uh, it should be it should be okay. Yeah. So what we're going to uh, do first is uh, is load the darts, and then uh, we're going to go into the the field and uh, and do exactly what the deer would normally expect us to do anyway. And uh, hopefully we'll be pretty close to them, and so it shouldn't be that challenging. Famous last words. Okay, Alan. I mean, it's not always like that, obviously, because uh, you know, if you've got sort of wild, wilder animals or nervous animals, yep. it's never this easy. But I mean, this, these are being conditioned every single day to yep. for, to get close to humans, you know. But there's still no other way of catching them. So I mean, it's uh, you know, using remote chemical injection is the way, you know. And you can see, no, it's very, it's very totally stressless. Yep. <laughs> you know, as I say, they don't get any more de-stressed than, uh, you know, so, so it's perfect. So it's just a matter of... So uh, how, long will, how long will they be out for them? 
Yeah. They'll be out for probably uh, you know at least at least 40 minutes. So okay. you know what we need to do is now is get the trailer and get them in as quick as possible, so that they uh, you know so that they can wake up nice and calmly. But the the biggest mistake would be to go into them too early you yeah. know before they're completely out because uh, you know as you've seen before they can just sort of suddenly burst into life again so uh, yeah yeah absolutely one by one the deer are collected the darts removed and the reviving drugs administered it's fast and well organized Okay, so we've got a hind that hasn't gone down, so Ryan's just going to re-dart her, hopefully. So um, she's got the dart just hanging out of her neck, which has got to identify her in this little group. It certainly helps when you're dealing with tame deer. So again, that's just a, yeah, an interesting young man there. So uh, a perfect example of a, a Red Seeker hy hybrid um, staggy there. Um, so you can see uh, you can see all sorts of traits coming out from both species. Well done. You didn't feel the pressure too much. Oh no, no not with the camera and <laughs> no, that's nice it. Every, everybody watching. Yeah. But. Super. Okay, so we're into the, the new paddock now. So you're happy with the way everything went on that one? Absolutely over the moon. I yeah. mean, it, it doesn't go that smooth <laughs> most of the time, especially when you're dieting multiple animals. But yep. I think it was it was down to uh, everybody involved, you know, and uh, you know the planning and uh, the acclimatisation in the first place. And uh, you know, if these animals are sort of treated right before darting, then they'll behave well during and after darting. Yeah, I mean, I was really impressed with that, the way that uh, yeah everything was down and done and, and in and uh, yeah, yeah reversals given. That was really quick, wasn't it? Doesn't always go that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, look, you made it look bloody impressive that time anyway. No, that was very good. So everybody's up on their feet and ready to go. Just about, yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll open the gate and let them, uh, let them out. Super. It has been a successful afternoon's work and Roy, having passed his exam, is now qualified to life capture his own herd to improve the health and quality of his animals. It's a scene that reminds me of my, um, you know, my misspent youth. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the morning after. If you want information about this or any other of the professional training courses run by Jellin, go to premierwildlife.co.uk.